How we're here in Faro, my man Thomas is going to take us on his yellow speedboat to the deserter island, which is which way? This way, nine miles away. Nine miles that way. I believe this boat's going to go very fast, so let's go. Ahoy, mateys. I think that's the the boat going to the beach, but we're going to the island. My man right, Thomas ready? is uh, in control. We're ready. Oh, we're going to go fast, are we? See you guys. We've got the horsepower. Welcome to India Deserta, we are arriving, you can remove the life jacket, put it on the floor, leave the bank, here is the Ilha Deserta. Thanks Thomas, see you later. That's it, we made it to the island, took about 15 minutes. That was the fast boat, the speed boat. That one is 10 euros each way, there's a slower boat, the shuttle boat, that's 5 euros each way, we're going to take the shuttle back. I've been making a separate video about getting the shuttle back which I'll upload to my second channel Metro Mark so check that one out anyway here we are on deserter island that bit with the lighthouse I don't think is accessible because that's on a different section that must be a different island over there but this is the deserter island it's called deserter island because it's deserted no one lives here Unless there's a lighthouse keeper that stays in there, but I'm not sure. This building ahead, we'll find out what this is for you. But look at them little shacks over there as well. And that section over there is, yeah, must be another island, man. That might be the fisherman's village. There is hop on, hop off tours you can do which are 30 euros and they go to three different islands so that could be the fisherman's village which you get to go to on that one but we decided to just do the deserted island today anyway let's go and see what this funky looking building is here yeah it's the restaurant that's what it is so you can get lunch on the island look beaches that way bardo cabo whatever that means anyway check it out look it is like a desert, isn't it? It's covered in sand. Check it out. I think we're going to have a bite to eat in the restaurant next. So I'm going to go and explore. Hello, Mr. Blue Lobster. And the squid. Am I, am I allowed to film in here? Yeah, cool. This is the restaurant. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Some bamboo features there. We're going to... Uh, Gonna order some food and there that is the Atlantic Ocean that we are seeing over there. So we're gonna get some food then we're gonna check out the beach. It's too expensive for our budget in there, that's an expensive fish restaurant. That was 25 euros just for a pasta dish in there, we're not stopping there. Look at that, we've got some solar panels, look. So we're gonna get lunch somewhere else. We might have to get oh actually we might have to skip lunch and just have dinner back at Faro. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the beach man. Let's go and do it. We have some kind of wood henge here made out of bits of bamboo. Very creative. This is the beach. 
And the Atlantic Ocean, nice eh? Similar to Faro Beach that we went to yesterday. Check out the shells that look, starfish. We have, we have a starfish. Boom, check it out man. This beach must be where starfish come to die, sadly. Never mind. <sighs> right. Go back to the ocean, friend. Go back to the ocean. This is how they get you. There's only one restaurant on the island and it's really expensive. So if you haven't got the big bucks to spend, bring your own food and drink here. Anyway, check out that water bar now. God is that. Man, this is a really nice beach, isn't it? Check it out. I think this is possibly the best beach to come to when you come to Faro. It's better than Faro Beach, I think, this one. To scale the dune. And here it is, it really does look like a desert island, doesn't it? You're out, Scarlett. We do have some plant life here. Any botanists watching, let us know what these things are. Growing here, there's about two or three different types of plants growing on this island. Look man, it's a pretty big island, isn't it? I don't think we're gonna have time to get around all of it. Scott, let's come back to the beach. I'm gonna explore the island. We've got some gulls. We have, we have a stripy white and red pole. I don't know what that's about. Let's go and check it out. Yes, I can confirm it is a white and red striped pole. That's what we're looking at there. Okay, so you can see there's other little islands in the distance and Faro mainland over that way. I think that's the fisherman's island over that way. And there's another group over there. Okay, there's a boardwalk here, which looks like it's going to be easier than walking on this bit here. So let's go on the boardwalk. And there's a second beach on this side, look. Facing Faro mainland. Anyway, this is the boardwalk. Let's go and explore. I think that's the Rio Formosa, which is the lagoon not the Atlantic Ocean, which is on that side. Right, I think the boardwalk might bend back round to the beach on the other side. If it does, I can hook up with my daughter again and we'll decide which ferry we're gonna get back.
Yeah, the boardwalk's cutting back across the island again, back to the other side. Okay, what is this structure here? Let's go and check it out. Look, it's telling you all the distances to these other places, look. Amsterdam, 1,982 kilometers away. Paris, 1,556. Madrid, 530 kilometers. There we go. Where is Scarlet? I'm gonna have to find my daughter. Right, I'm back on the Atlantic coast side. My daughter's still at that end, just chilling. We're gonna meet each other back at the ferry port. I get the ferry boat back to the mainland. I'm gonna film that for my second channel. I'll put the link there. Catch you for that one. See you in the next video. Peace.